Hello YouTubers, and today I am reviewing this, which is one of the Sonic Prime sets. I'm not sure really what wave this was meant to be part of, because uh, this hasn't had a proper release yet in the UK. It's starting to trickle out in there, but uh, so far only a couple of places I've seen actually have it. But regardless, let's just get into this uh, review, shall we? So, as you can see, in this set we get three... Well, I don't know if you call them two and a half inch figures. They're more closer to three inch figures since they do seem to be ever so slightly larger in places. But that could just be the scale, I don't know. Because I do know the other Sonic Prime figures are five inch scale as opposed to four inch scale. Yeah, it's a little bit odd with that. But regardless, uh, let's uh, jump into this uh, review. And we'll start with, well, might as well start with uh, the main man himself. So we'll start with uh, Sonic in this case. So, yeah, this is uh, based on his high seas costume, shall we say, where we've got the sort of uh, shoes with the sort of buckles and that on there to make it look sort of more piratey with the leather type hands and the bands and that. But the rest of this figure is mostly a standard Sonic. As I said, it was a smart move, you know, in Sonic Prime because it saved time with modelling and that, you know, new CG renders and... With figures in that, hey, you know, all we have to do is change uh, the hands and the shoes and there you go, Bob's your uncle. So, not really a lot to say about this figure. The The mouth is way off to the side on this one, it's really off on that there. So when he's looking forward on that, sometimes, depending on the angle, it doesn't look like he's got a mouth and that at all, I don't know. I just find that a little bit odd, even on the prototype miniatures. But other than that, it is a really nice figure, it's really solidly detailed in that. I'm not sure about the blue, to be honest. He looks ever so slightly darker than uh, he really should. I don't know why it is about that, and uh, I could see the same about um, the Sea Tails figure on that as well. They do look slightly darker than that. Obviously, it looks a lot brighter than that on camera and that, but yeah, I don't know what it is about. It just looks a little bit darker, but regardless, really nice you know, figure and that, but uh, if you've got one of the Sonics and that from, you know, any of the Prime Wave or even, you know, a standard, you know, two and a half inch Sonic figure, then that can basically, you know, go alongside these pretty much no problem, no questions asked. If we move on to Sea Tails, again, he is a fantastic figure and it was one of the ones I was uh, waiting for to come around because, uh, yeah, Jack Specific does a much better job uh, than Bandai do, and that much more highly detailed and that, and also much better paint apps and that as well, on here particularly, you know, on the eyes and that and round uh, the headband and that round his ear. Or should I call that an earband? But regardless, you can see all the little buckles and that, and even the little bits of uh, silver and that uh, on the buckles. Oh, it's more of a grey there. And uh, even on the boots and that, the little uh, ties and that, and the laces and that, all nicely well detailed. He also has his extra arm here, which uh, does have some articulation to it. And as you can see, it can hold his accessory, which is a sword. It does have the problem of uh, being just moulded in grey plastic. It would have been nice if they actually painted it silver, uh, just because it does look like just grey plastic otherwise. And that would have been nice if they gave it the sort of same silver sheen finish and that that they gave to the little uh, bolts and that, I guess you would call it here. But again, it does have articulation in it in two places, here and here. And also at the hand bit itself. Unfortunately, uh, there's no articulation where it attaches to the body here at the back. So unfortunately, it's stuck pointed out at this one angle. You can't even really swivel it, uh, particularly and that very much so yeah that is a warning particularly when getting this out of the box uh just a warning that you know you don't want to snap this off and that it is made of a slightly rubbery uh pvc bug skill it is also nice that we've got the two tails in there that do have uh their own sort of swivel articulation so you can swivel them up like that but uh if you want this on display i will put them down Mainly because uh, it stops the figure being too top heavy and it also gives him a great support. Whereas, as you can see with uh, the Sonic and the Baton Rouge figures here, 
they don't stand up very well on their own because the problem with most Sonic figures is that they are incredibly top heavy. So at least with Teals there, the Teals I think have even been designed in that to basically be sat down. There's also little uh, peg holes in that on the bottom of it here. So see if you have those uh, peg hole display bases, you can put it on there. The same with the Sonic and yeah, with Baton Rouge as well. But as I said, really nice variants. I do love Max Hill's variants and that. And this one definitely is one of the more, you know, worthy ones. It is a completely, you know, different figure as new park snacks. Not that it's against the Sonic. It's just less interesting than that just because it's mostly the same. Whereas this one has many more different parts than that to it, which, again, are all really nicely, sharply detailed. And it is impressive in that for such a small scale and that as well. So, yeah, very happy with the Teals figure. And finally, we get to Baton Rouge, who uh, has had a 5-inch uh, figure. I think the Sonic has also had a 5-inch one, if I remember rightly. Uh, the Sea Teals is the only one to not have a 5-inch figure, at least at the time recording. If they bring out a weird 5, which they might do, you know. But uh, regardless, Baton Rouge, she comes with a sword. It looks a little bit better because it's been cast in a slightly lighter shade of grey plastic. Again, it would have been nice if they'd done it more in a silver uh, type rather than just, you know, grey plastic because, well, it looks more like grey plastic and looks a bit cheaper. But regardless, the rest of the figure is really nice, really well detailed, particularly on her outfit in there. And uh, the sort of swooping and particularly on the boots and that with all the buckles and everything going around there. Really all nice sharp detailing. And I do like that the fact that the wings are individually articulated. So yeah, they're not just uh, one big uh, piece on the back. They are separate so they can be articulated. Which, you know, is a nice little uh, extra depending on how you know you want to pose this figure. But again, what can I say? It is excellently detailed. And that, so yeah, there's not really much else uh, to really say about it. It's a fantastic figure that's fantastically detailed in that. So yeah, Jack Specific as ever have done a fantastic job on it. So yeah, as I said, this one has also had uh, a five inch release in that as well. So putting the figures there to one side and that for a second, we also get some other stuff in the box and that as well. We get this gem which, again, we get in all of them. And we also get a cannon, which, again, is just moulded in grey plastic and that. And uh, the reason I'm not taking it out of the box is because it has a little ball in it, which is on a little ball bearing, which you can just see there on uh, the box on the illustration. And the reason I'm not taking it out, because I know the second I take that out, or uh, the fragment, as it says, the shard fragment, uh, they will almost immediately go missing. The only uh, that is something I, though I will say I'm glad I wouldn't have done it with the swords on the character's hands if the, if it wasn't for the fact that they hold them firmly. Too many you know figures and that from other companies and that or other production or you know other toy lines and that they have accessories for characters and they don't hold them very well. These thankfully do, which is great. They hold them very securely. So, yeah, that is a non-issue, you know, with these ones. Even with some of the other Sonic uh, figures of ones where they've held an accessory a bit loosely. But these ones, particularly uh, the Baton Rouge, do seem to hold uh, their accessories pretty well. And uh, they do also come in a nice little display box with a display window and that on there. So, all nice, well and good. Now, I picked this up uh, from Rare Waves here in the UK. I know it's been floating on ebay as well though on ebay i think the price is 27 to 28 pound whereas uh rare waves which is again the place i got this from i paid 23 pound 72 with their uh, free delivery and it was packaged pretty well it was in a box uh, and it was wrapped up in bubble wrap and everything so it arrived all safely so yeah if you are gonna, gonna get this and you live in the uk i'd recommend getting it from rare waves I mean, other than eBay, they're really the only two places you can really get this, like, more officially in that in the UK at the minute. I imagine it will come to Smith's Toys and Toy Entertainer at some point, but I've no idea when. But regardless, uh, thank you for watching this review. Again, highly recommend uh, this set. 
and uh, yeah, that's it for this review. See you next time. Bye bye.